Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel, 3rd of May. <laughs> Can't believe it's May already, man. We're coming up towards the end of the season, only a couple of weeks or so left. And today's episode, of course, covering Inter's latest news, um, transfer news, contract news, and those murmurings, uh, if you remember, PIF slash Aramco murmurings, rumours are starting to flare up. They're starting to come up once again, so I'm going to quickly discuss those. And yeah, before we get into it, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back on the channel. As I said today, covering the latest Inter news. First of all, these are our matches that are left. So, you know, we know what's, uh, what happened in the last match for each team both teams got a win but the next three matches or well for Inter is four obviously because we still got the Coppa Italia final let's not forget about that let's not forget people are uh, overlooking that final for some reason but yeah Milan three games into four games you guys let me know in the comments down below what is your prediction how many points out of the possible nine um, Scudetto winning games can Inter get out of those and how many will Milan get? I want your predictions in the comments down below. I think Inter can possibly get the full nine points. However, I just at the moment don't have full faith in Milan dropping more than, you know, two points in the last three games. I can see them definitely getting a draw in the last three games. The game I have the most faith in is actually Hellas Verona, which actually historically in the past has cost them a Scudetto as well. Um, you know, these kind of things, history sometimes is a funny way of uh, butting his head in, his head in, uh, in, in, in the present as well. So let's see what happens there. But as I keep saying to you guys, I still have faith in this. Anything can happen. I know um, more than half of the fan base has kind of given up on it and it's going to be, it's going to take a miracle. But I think, you know, it's, um, it's less than a miracle and these things do happen and can happen and maybe will happen. But you guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Moving on to our ownership. So um, Swiss Ramble on Twitter, a great, great account if you're interested in football, finances, um, things like that. And he released a report which showed that Inter, i.e. Suning, are the team that has spent the most money injecting their own you know, capital cash into the club or you know, any club in Europe. Um, and you can see Milan are high, very high up there as well. The, the Italian clubs are there, but it's obviously the Premier League clubs as well. So one thing that I always say, you know, we're definitely sooning. It has the the, the sooning adventure now has to end at some point soon. We cannot thrive, we cannot grow, we cannot progress anymore with sooning out as our owners anymore. But one thing people must remember is that they have invested. A lot of money and almost the one billion euros they've invested into Inter. Yes, a lot of that, uh, which is the issue that we're going through right now, is you know debt. You know, I, I'm not sure how much of that figure it would be, but I'm guessing around you know 300, 400, at least half of that probably is uh, you know not their own cash straight away, not their own capital. But at the same time, they have you know invested a lot of capital, and that's why Sunin keep asking for the one billion euro asking price for Inter. Especially you see Milan are reportedly being sold for 1.1 billion, you know, uh, that probably confirms their asking price even more. But speaking of uh, potential rumours uh, of new ownership um, and sooning selling, you guys know I've not, there's been those rumours about PIF buying Inter. Um, a lot of people have been saying actually it's Aramco that will be buying Inter. And PIF is in the background, but it would just be the Aramco is the front. And those rumors have once again flared up. Um, you know, some people, some guys, some accounts that are on Twitter that people obviously make fun of because at the moment it seems like they're just, uh, you know, chatting crap. And then there's some YouTube channels, only the Italian, is only a few Italian speaking channels. But again, they're saying that something is happening once again. They're even claiming that there's some signatures that PIF or Aramco uh, via, or PIF via Aramco have already agreed to buy Inter and they'll be done by the end of this summer. Um, and But once again, there's nothing come out in any re reputable source, no newspapers, nothing of sorts. So again, I am a skeptic, I find it hard to believe, but if these guys are actually speaking the truth, it would be amazing. You know, these guys coming in would be, you know, the 
the reported fund that's reportedly buying Milan now. These guys are even bigger than that, and um, so it would. That's 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 the only way that Inter as a team would be able to grow and not being able to sell every summer like it looks like we're gonna have to do again this summer. I will try to check these things. I will try to ask people more about the information around this, but I just wanted you to know that these rumors are once again flaring up, but don't start dreaming yet until actual reputable sources are talking about this. I don't want people to start spamming my comments and live streams with PIF, what's happening with PIF comments. I just wanted to give you an update and when there will be another update, I will try to keep you up to date with that. Speaking of, you know, future, contract situation even better situation. we know this guy needs to be nailed down to a contract asap and sky sports are talking that by the end of the season there will likely be an agreement with the 33 year old three year old um croatian winger or wing back now um however they said that perisic is more than you know money or wage salary he's interested in inter's project so his decision will be based on whether he thinks you know inter still looking to improve or still looking to win trophies and you know this guy is a winner and it makes sense i do believe these rumors and i'm sure something will be able to be uh, agreed with Perisic, especially the way he's playing this season. And uh, I don't think he's, uh, at the moment, there's no rumours of any, you know, interesting or serious offers for him as well. So I think it makes sense for Perisic to stay. They're talking that they're close to possibly agreeing a two-year contract already by the end of the season. So fingers crossed that actually happens. Moving on to the latest injury news, Bastoni. We know we need to have Bastoni back in the team as soon as possible, however. He is still struggling with the injury that he had, um, you know, in the last couple of matches. And he will be probably missing the Empoli match as well. He might maybe make the bench, but he hasn't returned to full training yet. So it's most likely that he'll be ready for the Coppa Italia final against Juventus on the 11th of May, which is, you know, the most important thing for sure. I think we can do without him against the Empoli, but against Juventus, 100%. No Di Marco, we need Bastoni back. And it looks like he will be, which is good news. Barella. Guys, let's not worry too much about Barella. Barella, even, you know, straight away after the last match, it was confirmed that it was only a strong, you know, hit, a contusion, as they call it. And he's already taken part today in full training. Some good pictures actually out today from, from the training. A lot of smiling faces. Uh, Sanchez looks like he was in especially in good form. And I'm expecting a little bit more from Sanchez in these coming last few matches as well. Especially if you remember last game against Empoli in the league. Um, he stepped up and had a really, really good performance against Empoli. And I wouldn't mind actually seeing Sanchez start. Especially due to uh, Jekyll's form and Correa wasn't great in the last match. But let's see what uh, options Inzaghi uh, takes on. And the last one I want to talk about was Gossens who is back fully fit. And you know, his uh, against the, our last match against Udinese was actually supposed to be his first match as a starter and unfortunately he got injured but this one once again might be the one because Perisic he is continuing to be amazing somehow but he does need rest and we do start to need, need to integrate Gosens as well into the team of course you can always bring on Perisic if things are not going well in the second half so I hope we actually get to see Gosens um, you know we do need Perisic to be you know fully 100% fit to be ready to go against Cuadrado in the Coppa Italia final so yeah hoping Gosens starts but yeah that was uh, pretty much it guys um, you know Lautaro's agent talked as well he confirmed once again that Lautaro is not listening to any rumours. He wants to stay at Inter. We know this guy has rejected offers in the past and he's he looks like he's really keen on staying in Inter and in Milan. He says, you know, Lautaro enjoys his life in Milan. Uh, but all the rumours are pointed to him being the guy who will be sacrificed in the summer. But let's see what happens with that. As I said, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. PIF slash Aramco. Uh, do your research on that on the on the on the company see what you think let me know what you think do you believe any of the rumors or is it just a pipe dream uh perisic bastoni barella let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you for the empoli match preview ciao ragazzi and as always forza inter